What's up, everybody? This is uh, JT here, known as Official JT Lee. You can see on the YouTube channel, uh, founder of Blue Ambitions. Uh, just want to let you know that I am finally coming to YouTube. A lot of people have asked me uh, when should I come to YouTube? I need to start making more channels. They feel like I'm very informational when it comes to making certain things and videos to kind of help people progress. Um, I was a resourceful filmmaker, I guess, growing up on my journey where you really didn't have all the money to get the high end stuff. So you just really just kind of put it together and try to make it work. That's kind of what I was. Um, so what do you get from like in subscribing to my YouTube channel that's kind of different from anybody else? Um, I say that something that you get would be somebody who kind of understands what it's like to um, not have what you need, but still trying to uh, get a okay pleasant look for your your films, your short films, and all this other stuff. Um, somebody who's made a lot of mistakes, and you can actually learn from my mistakes as I tell you and guide you on my YouTube journey. Um, there's so much things that I learned that I'm kind of thankful for. Uh, the many mentors that kind of helped me along the way. I'm blessed to have those people to kind of help me not fall as dramatic as I could have without knowing the type of information. Um, so now just to give you a little backstory on kind of who I am and kind of how I got into this film journey. As you see in the background, uh, my backdrop is DVDs. So me and my brother got into watching DVDs and falling in love with stories and all the passion that comes behind it. Um, we would go out and we would get a movie every Friday, which hence why we have why I have so many DVDs behind me. So. As we get in movies every Friday, we'll go back home and watch them. We'll break them down from the storyline. Be like, this, this worked for this. I like this. And kind of uh, branch off into something to where we wanted to go out and, and do our own thing and kind of make our own film and do our own journey. So, um, my camera experience journey started in church. Uh, most people know me from filming at the church. Um, I was, before I was that, I was a guy sitting in the back row, not really, you know, trying to be present or do anything. Uh, kind of nervous, you know, just all to myself. So it took uh, somebody actually talking to me, speaking to me, asking me, hey man, do you want to work this camera? Do you want to do this? I had experience because my dad had an old camera that we played around with, but it, it was also a different feeling to actually film something that other people was going to see and they was watching it live. It, it bought like an added pressure, added weight to actually filming that eventually now that I got used to it, um, they really called me the person to, to go get the shot. Um, Cause nothing really uh, makes me nervous, strikes me as that or, or anything. Um, it basically gave me my wings to go out there and, and try more, do more, be creative and kind of learn this. So if, if you're new to the channel, you see I have web series on there uh, that web series was the first thing I ever filmed to try to get out there. I actually used the Canon T5 Rebel that I still have to this day. Because to me, people look at it as a camera, but I look at it as something more. Uh, the Canon Rebel T5 is it's something that when I look at it, I see the journey that, that kind of I went through to actually uh, become a filmmaker. This was uh, 
the camera that kind of got got me through the door um kind of met with people like hey man i'm trying to do this i'm trying to do that uh can i show you a little work that i've done and 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 kind of went from there um so it's one of those things where you know they they be like hey you, you want to sell this even though it, it's not really worth much these days it's still something that I hold precious to me because it was the first camera that I ever owned that kind of put me into the realm of actually making films or web series or any type of thing, commercials, that's, that's all related. So now that I established that journey, um, the one thing that I would like to suggest that I learned from filming that web series, if you go back, was audio. If you listen to our audio, you you know that that was something that um, you really don't think about um, that can make and break a story. And and that was one of them things where we didn't know that you really needed audio to kind of bridge the gap to the story. So um, audio is very important. Um, the thing that helped me most with audio um, were, were two things. Learning from somebody else who actually understood audio and I took a course on um, sounds for filmmakers. And both of those things was dramatic because you learn uh, one of the rules, the closer the mic is, the better it sounds. Meaning you could turn it down you lose some of that noise floor and all that stuff that you hear in the background because you can hear the voice clearly. So that was one of the things that I really admired um, that I learned from the class. And I also learned from one of the mentors that I had to show me kind of what would be the best way to kind of get this in or how close I can get the mic in and kind of just hearing the sound so you kind of know what sounds better. Um, and then the rest of it just kind of came through trial and error. Um, so as I leave you today on my first YouTube journey, um, the word that sticks out to me, if you really want to be a filmmaker, shout out to all the beginning filmmakers um, that's taking this journey on YouTube, similar to me. The thing that sticks out to me most is consistency. Consistency is one of the major things that I feel would get you through most doors in any type of field. Um, just kind of just staying consistent. Never really uh, giving up on your passion. Uh, continue to learn. Um, filmmaking is always one of them things where you learn something every time you get out. There's nothing that you never really just stop and learn. So it's, it's something that you learn every day. You just continues to grow, continues to find new ways to make shots better. They always coming out with new stuff, one after the other. Um, so. That, that's what I leave you with, consistency. Um, and I feel like consistency could be really, really powerful for um, young filmmakers because eventually people don't see how far something can go, like the outcome of it, and, and they kind of quit prematurely. But this is something that I'm trying to stay consistent too and I hope that everybody's following me like and subscribe and stay consistent as well and all of us go on this journey together um if you have questions or whatever you can hit me up I'm not one of them people that um you know that's not going to respond I'm a I'm a respond back I'm gonna watch your videos send them to me um try to build networks um, you know, all of us just kind of come together and um, get better together. And I appreciate you spending the time to, um, to watch my video and 
come along with me on my journey um, and and grow and be better filmmakers. Thank you.